do spend a lot of time recruiting as an order taker, but want to evolve to be more strategic? If so, then you're watching the right video. In this video, you will learn the top five competencies that you need to embrace in order to scale up yourself. But before we get into details, for those who are new here, I'm Nikita, a Shom certified HR. I have over a decade of experience in hiring professionals. In Recruitment Insights, I'm passionate about helping other recruiters and job seekers in reaching their career goals. Let's dive into top five competencies that you must develop to level up yourself. Number one, create your personal brand. In today's competitive era, you can only outshine as a higher level recruiter when you're visible and approachable to your target candidates. With your personal brand, you build trust and credibility. And in turn, more candidates reach out to you for their next job and many hiring managers for closing their hard to fill positions. Now, let me tell you how you can create your personal brand. First thing first, become a subject matter expert. Be familiar with most jargons, processes, and day-to-day -day responsibilities of potential employees whom you're going to hire for your company. Next, make sure you're knowledgeable of how different business functions are connected. For instance, the list of possible business functions across the IT industry are marketing, sales, pre-sales, delivery, and support. Also, keep tab on your company's current events. You should always be aware of what is happening in your company so that you can bring those events and perks up as selling points to interested candidates. Moreover, constantly look at your industry trends. You always need to educate yourself as to what trends are currently impacting your industry, as well as what talent pool is available and what typical candidates are being paid. And most importantly, voice your opinion on LinkedIn or any other platform where you find your target candidates. Always remember, people love to connect with other people who engage with them. Now let's move on to the second competency, consult and influence your business partners. Some hiring managers might have great expectations, thinking they need a person with all the boxes checked, which doesn't work always, right? And that's the reason I would recommend setting realistic expectations right off the bat. Let your hiring managers know achieving all three parameters of hiring, that is speed, quality, and cost in one go is less likely to happen in today's candidate-driven market. For example, if you find a candidate on budget and in a shorter duration of time, then it might not be a top quality hire. If you get a top quality candidate faster, then you might have to pay for it. Or if you find someone at your cost and of premium quality, then it might take a while to fill a position. Also, reach out to your hiring managers with a candidate who matches, say, 80% of the job requirement instead of holding out for the 100% match. Just consult and influence your hiring managers if the rest of the 20% skill set can be learned on the job. Back it up by showing the number of candidates available with a specific skill set, how many you reached out to, and who all showed interest in the opportunity. Also educate hiring managers or clients about how the hiring process will unfold. Set the SLA, that is a service level agreement based on your current requisition role. For instance, let your hiring managers know that you will return with three to five quality candidates within a week's time. Associate takes some time before it actually starts getting some traction. And you would also appreciate hiring managers to responding within 24 hours with their feedback on resumes and technical interviews. Let them know in today's volatile market, they may lose a candidate if they don't respond quickly or if they add multiple rounds to the process. The next competency to develop is to build rapport and nurture your candidates. The irreplaceable part of being a higher level recruiter is your relationship building skills. You can build rapport by providing clarity to your candidates. Let them know about your company, role, and the interview process right at the beginning. Also ask them which mode of communication they would prefer. Is it text, email, or phone? And stay connected with them throughout the process. Also have experience, some candidates are not good at articulating their experience on resumes. Coach them on how to refine resumes with necessary tweaking. Not only does this build up your trust and rapport with them, 
but it also increases the chances of technical shortlisting with hiring managers. Plus, get to know candidates well. As a recruiter, make sure you know your candidates well and develop a good relationship. That way, when an offer is made, it shouldn't fall apart. For instance, if you have an on-site role, then ask clarifying questions such as how comfortable a candidate is commuting daily during your initial conversation with them. I know you must be thinking, even after probing all sorts of questions, sometimes candidates back out at the last moment. I totally agree. That's one of the pet peeves of recruiting. But still, I would recommend never miss following through with your candidates. Further, check with your candidates if they have any queries or concerns that they need to clarify in between the interview rounds. Don't get into a situation where they ask HR-related questions to hiring managers during technical interviews. Also, post-interview, don't forget to ask candidates how their experience was with the interviewers, no matter whether or not they proceed to the next level. Plus, recycle your candidates to other projects. For candidates who are declined due to a specific project issue or a company issue but are good otherwise, if that's not a possibility, let your candidates know the rejection reason respectfully and thoughtfully. Make them feel valued. Most importantly, engage with your candidate by sending out targeted emails like relevant content related to their skill set, company culture, and employee stories. It doesn't matter if you're hiring internally or for your client. In all, keep them on your radar. They will think of you first when they move forward in their job search. Moving right along, competency four is leverage technology. Leverage technology, but don't lose a personal touch. Recruiting has always remained a people business. Incorporate technology around repetitive tasks to help you up your activity and focus your efforts more on candidate and business engagements and final closures. For this, use automated and personalized email sequencing for initial outreach to potential passive candidates and for follow-ups with your active candidates. This saves you tons of time by getting your message out faster to a wider range of people. Also, replace calendar interview scheduling with one quick click on a link such as Calendly or LinkedIn interview scheduler. As you all know, scheduling consumes half of your day and it usually involves multiple email threads. So just get rid of that. Moreover, in today's virtual recruiting environment, Use video conferencing for an initial conversation with your potential candidates, such as Zoom, Google Meet, or whatever is available with your company. It is really important to know your candidates better and build that trust. So when you take time to know your candidates well, you become confident to stand for them at times when hiring managers passes on them. On the other hand, you can also give a heads up to the hiring team for candidates who appear to be good in the first place but they turn out to be poor matches or might cause challenges down the line. And this leads me to the last but not the least competency, track your performance. You can't improve your efficiency if you don't know where your bottlenecks are. So if your company uses ADS, which is an applicant tracking system, I would highly recommend creating a culture of doing hiring via ADS so that you can gather data throughout the recruiting process, identify problem areas, and set trackable goals for improvements. Also, set weekly goals for yourself. For instance, conduct 15 video interviews in a week, three in a day, so that you have at least 10 resume submissions in a week, which could result in at least one final interview selection. With all that said, if you embrace these competencies, I can guarantee you will become one of the valued members of your hiring manager's team, someone they can rely on when making hiring decisions. As always, if you enjoyed this session, be sure to let me know. And you can do so by giving a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribing to this channel so that you will never miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time.